Okay, this is a lesson on the Carol of Bells by the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, arranged for one guitar. I'll play the first part, and then I'll break it down. Okay, now that's going to be played over the other part, which is... Okay, so that's going to be on the D string. That's your fourth string up. It's ninth fret. That's right. And then the ninth fret on the G, the third string up. And then 12 on the G. And 11 on the G. Now this part here is going to start on the 7th fret of your E string, your 6th string. Drop down to the 7th fret of your 5th string, your A. Then over to the 9th fret of your D string. And you're going to play that twice. Then you're going to play the 7th fret of your D string. The 10th fret of your A string. 9th fret of your A string. 7th fret of your A string. string, 7th fret of your A string, 9th fret of your A string, 10th fret of your A string, 7th fret of your D string, 9th fret of your D string. Next two sections are identical, but you're not going to go all the way back up to here. You're going to stop at the 7th fret of your A string coming back up. So it's going to go... So you do that twice, and then you slide down to the D note, which is 5 on your A string. Okay, so that's the clean part. Then we get into the distortion section. Okay, so we got a walk down section. So I'm hitting the um, 9 on G, so that's the third string up, then 7 on G, then 10 on D, then 9 on D, then I'm going to a uh, heavy E chord, which is just an open E string. 2nd fret A string, 2nd fret D string, all at the same time. So that's how we ended off. Now keep in mind this is an uh, arrangement for one guitar, so you're not going to be playing, there's a bunch of different guitar parts in there, it's just one guitar playing. So you repeat that again. to the harmony section. Sorry. Starting on 8 on the B string, 2nd string. So you're going to go 8, 7, 8. Then you're going to go 9 on D. Or sorry, on G, the 3rd string. Four times. Then you're going to shift up 12 on B, 10 on B, then back, then 12 on G. Okay, so you can do that four times as well. So we got. down. 12 on E, the first string. Three times. 
then you're gonna go to 10. Then 11 on B. Then you're gonna hit 12 on B three times. So we got three times on E, then 10 on E, 11 on B, three times on 12, or sorry, 13 on B, then three times on 12 on B, 10 on B, 12 on G. Okay, here's what we got so far. Back to 10 on B, three times, then 12, B, 10, B, three times, nine on G. Okay, so that's that rundown. Then we gotta run up. You're gonna start on nine on D, nine, ten, or sorry, nine, eleven, and twelve. That's on your fourth string. Same thing on your third string, G. Then you're gonna go ten, twelve on your B, back to ten, and twelve on your G. that twice. Then you're going to play those first two sentences four times in a row. So it's going to go 9, 11, 12 on D, your fourth string. 9, 11, 12 on G, your third string. Oops. Then you're going to finish on 12 on your E string. Okay, so we do that run four times. And we got another rundown. Okay, so we're going to be on nine on your G, third string. You're going to hit it twice and then go to seven. Then you're going to go... 10 to 9 on your D, your fourth string. Twice on the ninth fret or tenth fret, once on the ninth. So we got. Then you're gonna go from 7, 9, back to 7 on D. Okay, do that once. So here's what we got so far. Then you're going to go 10 to 9, twice on 10, once on 9, now we're on our A string, this is the 5th string. Then you're going to hit 7 once, and then go to a heavy E. a piano interlude. Right, and then we go back into that rundown. But instead of going to the heavy E, we're just going to repeat that again three more times. So we're going to do that rundown four times in a row. Back to this part. Sorry. Right? Um, and then we got uh, the next section, um, which will not have the that section in it yet, but we're going to do the rundown again. So at that point, everything repeats at, at that point. And then at the end, it's just going to be hitting, at the very end, we're going to be hitting E's, eight of them, right? 
open without any uh, palm muting or anything. So eight of those and then four with a palm mute and staccato. And then end it with uh, an open. Okay, so I'll just play the song now and you can kind of get an idea of what we're talking about. I'll start from the very beginning. I hope this makes things clearer for you.